You can sit, please. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mr. Vice President of the Republic of Nigeria, Mr. Peter Bean, Associate Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of Canada, Representative of the Prime Minister of Canada, is um, Minister of Trade and Investment, so again, uh, Agenda, and uh, Mr. Dr. Tukur, that you've heard a few minutes ago. I'm very pleased to uh, participate with you to this closing ceremony, and um, I will um, ask. Um, uh, no, I'm a little bit lost, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, Ambassador Malik, is it, would be who will be? So I'd like to have, uh, at this point in time, the program will be, the uh, Minister will talk and uh, for a few seconds and present uh, His Excellency, the Vice President. The Vice President will talk uh, with his closing remarks. And the last word will be to the, the, the Associate Deputy Minister uh, thanking the Nigerian delegation uh, headed by the Vice President uh, for coming to Canada. So, Minister. Please. Say a few words to present that. I wasn't, I wasn't wondering about it. Uh, Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Architect Namandi Mohammed Sam, the Chairman of uh, PDP, Dr. Bamanga Tugo. Um, our distinguished from representing the Prime Minister of Canada and, of course, the Ambassador. Um, I would like to use this opportunity, first of all, to say a very, very big thank you to all the organizers, in particular the Ambassador here, Ambassador Madwike. <clears throat> and, of course, to Chris Kuta, the Canadian Ambassador who is based in Nigeria. Because without their support, their planning, this would not have been possible. It took us a very, very long time, but I know how hard the work to make this happen. Again, I'd like to say a very big thank you to the organizers, those who worked with them to make this possible, and in particular to the team led by the Director of Legal at the Ministry of Trade and Investment, the team that worked so hard to negotiate and agree the FIPA agreement within two, three months, what it took 18 years to do with China. I want to say a very big thank you to the team led by <laughs> Director Legal, uh, Mrs. Uju Hassan Baba. Thank you very much for your help. Well, the last three days have been revealing. I think it's very, very clear there's a big chemistry between Nigeria and Canada. And the political will is there right from the top. Right from the day the Vice President met with the Prime Minister about two, three days ago. The meeting was supposed to be just for about 15 minutes. It, long, it lasted much more than 15 minutes because they had so much to say together and because there's a will from both governments to work together to drive and have this strong economic partnership. The same day, Minister Ed Fass and I signed the FIPA agreement which actually provides the environment for Nigeria and Canadian investors to come together and start what we all see as a great future for both countries. So I think the scene has been set. We've achieved a lot of wins in the last two, three days. Uh, the next thing is, is, how we, is the next step, how we make sure that we actualize what we have benefited in the last two, three days. So mine is just a brief word to just to say a big thank you to the ambassador, all the organizers, and of course my colleagues, colleague ministers, who are here also and who also made their own presentations. Once again, it's been a fantastic three days. We've all achieved so many things together. 
the time to now invest in Nigeria is now. Let us work together and make that happen. Thank you very much. Mr. Vice President, would you give us the honor of saying a few words, please? Your Excellency, the Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Alaji Bamanga Tukur, Your Excellency, the representative of the Canadian Prime Minister, Your Excellencies, Executive Governors here present, Honorable Ministers, I would like to specially also extend my deep appreciation to the Canadian High Commissioner in Nigeria, as well as our High Commissioner from Nigeria in Canada for the hard work they have put in ensuring that this event takes place. Captains of Industries, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I am highly pleased to be part of this historic investment conference, which is being brought to a close after very robust presentations on the business and investment opportunities in the identified sectors where Nigeria has comparative advantages and for the productive interactive sessions. I strongly believe that the Canadian business community are now better informed of the available opportunities in Nigeria and will continue to build on the relationship that have been established during the three-day event. It is a record that Canada was one of the few countries that stood by Nigeria during the trying periods in her endeavor to institutionalize democratic rule and governance in the early 1990s. I wish to observe with great honor and sense of appreciation that this attitude has continued even in the current effort of stabilizing the nation's democracy. There is no gain saying the fact that this conference has brought together a big time businessman, industrialist, and financial institutions in the quest to strengthen the economic ties existing between our nations in a sustainable manner. It is my sincere hope that the necessary follow-up actions to concretize the various agreements reached at this conference will be taken to enable the two countries to derive maximum benefits from this conference. I wish to assure all, particularly the Canadian business community, that the current administration in Nigeria is unrelenting in its effort to provide an investment-friendly environment and the strong determination to transform the country by harnessing the huge and diverse economic potentials for the benefit of our citizens. It is with gratifying and encouraging to note that during this conference, another significant milestone was reached with the signing of the intent of the Foreign Investment Promotion and Protection Agreement, FIPA, between our two friendly countries. This will serve as a source of encouragement to investors from both countries wishing to invest abroad. Let me at this juncture express once again my sincere gratitude to the government and good people of Canada for the hospitality accorded me and the members of my delegation since arrival in this beautiful city of Toronto and for the support and cooperation without which the success we have recorded so far would not have been possible. I want to assure you of our strong commitment 
to substantially increase the volume and value of business and investment between the two countries within the next couple of years on a win-win situation. I also wish to particularly thank the Prime Minister for identifying with Nigeria at this critical moment in our effort to bring about socio-economic and political transformation in our country. The efforts of the relevant ministers from the two countries to perfect the arrangement for this conference is also commendable and appreciated. Finally, I look forward to welcoming a good number of Canadian investors who are keen to invest in the various sectors of the Nigerian economy where opportunities abound. The time to take decision to invest in Nigeria is now. Tomorrow might be too late. Let me also place on record my sincere appreciation again to the High Commissioner, the Honorable Minister of Industries, Investment, and the Honorable Minister of Foreign Affairs, and all those that have contributed toward the successful hosting of this conference. Thank you, and God bless you all. Mr. Vice President, Ministers, before I give the last word to Mr. Peter Bean, I'd like, uh, in the name of all the Canadian companies that we represent, CC Africa is the largest group of Canadian companies that are around the table. Our mission is to increase economic relations between Canada and Africa. We've done that for almost 11 years now. Uh, we, are, we are kind of missionaries because it's not always easy to, to do the job, but we are doing it. I've been in your country many times. In fact, I was looking at uh, how many times uh, we did events on uh, Nigeria. I think we've done about 10 events uh, for Nigeria, between Nigeria and Canada. But what your visit did, and what Minister Agenda did, and what the High Commissioner did, is that somebody mentioned that to me this morning, and I thought it was a very good figure of image. Uh, you know, you're an architect, you know what the law of physics are, and and mechanics also, uh, flag wheel are difficult to start. But when flag wheel are spinning, it's difficult to stop. And what you've done, Vice President and, and Ministers, you've put that flag wheel on the right speed. Now, I will take what the Minister said. He will be very careful with Minister Fast to make sure we oiled it at the right time. You put the necessary input so it doesn't stop, and the private sector will benefit from all of that, from both countries, and hopefully very much for Nigeria. So in the name of the private sector in Canada, I thank you very much. We're going to be back in your country. We hope to come back again, and that's not the end of it. <laughs> On that note, I'm very pleased to say that we're almost at the end, but the last word will be for the Department of Foreign Affairs, which says we're going to close at 5 o'clock Friday the 3rd, in 10 minutes we're going to close. So I know that many people may not have believed that yesterday morning, but we are there. So, Mr. Bean, please. Mr. Vice President, Ministers, Governors, uh, Excellencies, all, bonjour à tous. C'est un honneur pour moi de m'adresser à vous en clôture de cette conférence tellement importante. I'm very and truly impressed by the scale uh, of this event. Not only uh, the sizable dele delegation that has come from Nigeria, but led, led, of course, by the Vice President, 12 ministers and the largest gathering of state governors outside of Nigeria in history. Now, we know something about federalism in Canada, and if you ever want to have a, a federal state conference and you want to have it offshore, come back, do it here. We can, uh, we can organize it for you. I must say that equally impressive uh, is the private sector representation from 
both Nigeria and from Canada with over 50 CEOs of the largest Nigerian companies covering various sectors of the economy. I know that some of you have met with the Prime Minister, you've been welcomed by Minister Baird, by Minister Fast, by Parliamentary Secretary O'Bry, by my colleague Simon Kennedy this morning at breakfast. And just allow me also to say that we are so, so appreciative of your visit here and this conference. It represented such an important networking opportunity and I trust you'll go back with all of that uh, in mind. But like others, I would like to pay uh, tribute and respect to our High Commissioners, High Commissioner Madwekwe, to Chris Cooter, for their work in bringing our countries closer together. This is something they do 24-7. It's not just the success of a conference like this, but it is what they do day in and day out. And for their effort and those of their talented staff, we are truly grateful. Thank you. This conference represents another milestone in the rapidly expanding Canada-Nigeria relationship. Not only has it allowed Canadian businesses to meet with key Nigerian decision makers, but it has also allowed Nigerians and Canadians alike to learn from each other and to benefit from the growing two-way trade and investment opportunities. This conference has broken new ground and has laid the foundation to further increase trade and investment with the aim of surpassing our target of doubling trade to $6 billion by 2015. Canada wants to build not just a new commercial relationship with Nigeria, but a new kind of relationship based on new emerging sectors within the Nigerian economy. Canada's strengths we're proud to say, are in innovation, technology, and know-how, and we're well suited for new opportunities in the mining, creative industries, agricultural product processing, and environmental sectors. We're working hard to find opportunities to assist Nigeria in the area of education and skills development. The future of Nigeria's growth and its expansion and diversification of its economy lie in the development of intellectual capital, skills development and capacity building. We want to work with you on that. We are proud of the many Canadian companies such as Bombardier, Blackberry, CPCS, IMW and others that are currently doing business in Nigeria and we are certain that many more Canadian companies will become active following this conference. This conference has also served to advance our understanding of the many opportunities that a federal system offers. The large number of governors here demonstrates the growing importance of the states in the federal system and the role in attracting investment into Nigeria. We are also very hopeful that Canadian and Nigerian financial institutions will come together to develop and implement innovative financial instruments that will allow Canadian companies to invest further in Nigeria. Access to capital, as has been said earlier, will be a key driver in expanding our commercial relationship. As Trade Minister Aganga mentioned during his opening remarks, Nigeria truly is at the forefront of the new and last frontier that is Africa. With the signing on Wednesday of the Declaration of Intent to sign a Foreign Investment Promotion and Protection Agreement, which of course we call the FIPA, not to be confused with FIFA, we are certain this conference See, Canadians know something about football too, not just hockey, okay? We're, we're certain this conference will achieve its goals of attracting foreign direct investment, expanding and diversifying trade, and leveraging Canadian expertise. Um, I listened carefully to the panels uh, earlier, and I just want to assure you that the Government of Canada retains strong support for Africa. We're not closing our high commissions and embassies. We're looking at amalgamating CEDA, the Canadian Devel International Development Agency, with the Department of Foreign Affairs and International Trade into a new department that will be synchronized, that will look at development opportunities also in their investment and trade uh, context. And I'm very excited about that. In fact, that's something I'm, I'm working on in my day job. In my other day job as the Prime Minister's personal representative for the G8, we are looking towards the summit that will take place in June in Northern Ireland 
with our British hosts to place a new and particular emphasis on Africa. So look for that. We're working hard on that. So I just want to provide that assurance that our government, the federal government of Canada, is really, really behind this initiative. So in closing, I want to congratulate everyone here uh, for your presence, for the discussions that you have, and may thousands of deals bloom. Thank you very much. Merci.